Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and you may be wondering why we're looking at a blank space in my garage. Well, that's actually because we've come back into my career mode playthrough in the Yukon, because I figured it would be an interesting way to change up the way we test mods, and we're actually going to pick up a vehicle that I saw on mod.io, and I was like, wait a minute, what is that? Because I don't recognize it whatsoever. Now, I do encourage you guys to, like, you know, go check this thing out because it is interesting and it is kind of different in a lot of ways because it's listed as a Ford, right? The Ford Trawler T4. Now, basically what this is, is it's actually, Trawler itself was a Brazilian brand that was actually acquired by Ford in around 2005, I believe, and I had no idea that this brand existed, but... They actually priced it very cheaply if you wanted to buy it and use it in your campaign mode. So that's what we're going to do today. So this thing, like I said, it only costs like $12,400 and it looks like it's a pretty high quality setup. So there's obviously some missing names. Um, you start out with an S plus engine. You got another S plus engine and another S plus engine. I'm assuming that those just give you even more power because the fuel consumption gets worse. But we're going to leave it with the standard engine that comes with and put the off-road transmission in it. Now, okay, so currently we're on the stock suspension. And I don't know how these tires are scaled, but they look like they're scaled almost in the, kind of almost in the realm of like, they look like a 37 or maybe even a 40. I don't necessarily think we need to go any bigger on the suspension. So I'll leave that as is for now. I mean... They look like, oh my god, that's freaking weird looking. The camera is a little bit like, it's a little bit oddly set up, but let's see. All of these are going to be, the ones that look sort of like a super swamper, but not quite, are going to be the ones that are good in mud. So let's just go with those. Let's just go with those and see what happens, frankly. So we'll do a offline winch. And we have a few different rooftop options, which actually is not bad. Now, we could do a light bar. We could do a couple different front bumper options, a couple different headlight options. Angry eyes because angry? Ah, I don't know. So, we'll do the snorkel. And we'll do the worn winch. Well, actually, hold on. That looks really good. So does that. I like that. And then we will also do, let's see, does that actually allow you to keep, oh, okay, so you could do, you could pair that with the roof rack and then do the light bar as well. And you actually have a pretty dang good variety of wheel options. I'm pretty impressed with that. I like, I like the options too. Like, I'm not, ooh, and you have a good amount of paint options too. Like, although the colors in the menu don't exactly correspond with like, the color on the vehicle like red is gray and brown is is like deep blue so there's a lot going on here but i mean i think we'll just kind of go with it now you do not have the option of interior customization on this vehicle but that's all right i i, I always kind of leave that up to the mod creators and you know i don't necessarily go oh why does it not have that like because it's always like a personal preference if a mod creator wants to go that route or not but Good looking rig, and let's go ahead and start our test off. Now, I'm undecided whether or not I'll sell this vehicle or keep it in my campaign playthrough because generally I only like to keep vehicles in my campaign playthrough if they are uh, pretty well balanced. So let's see, we've got your standard assortment of scout trailers, which is good to see. What does the interior look like anyway? Wow! Look at that! No, um... No driver hands. I assume he couldn't really get the driver hands to work right. Oh, they're like beyond the steering wheel. That's weird. The dash does not work, but that's, again, another thing where it's like, I'm not going to give anybody, like, crap for that because that's up to them. And honestly, a lot of people that use mods don't use a lot of interior view anyway. However, the mirrors all work, the rear view and both side view mirrors, and you actually have a nice, like, Apple CarPlay radio, which is really, really cool. So, ooh... I didn't mean to go that way, actually. And let me turn around and go the other way because I'm like, actually, I have a route that I want to use to test it. The 
the behavior when you change gear is very weird. Like, when you pull it out of reverse and put it back into any of the forward drive gears, it, it really does this weird, like, squat. Let me show you guys what I mean. Well, it does when you... Oh, well, it's, it's literally decided to not do it now. Literally, right when I call it out on the way it changes gear, it decides to not do it. Let's see how good these tires are in the mud. Oh, they're pretty freaking good. That was high range, too. Now, the reason why I'm taking it this way is because there's actually a mud route over here that is really, really... Whoa! All right, hello. But there's a mud route over here, right here in particular, that can get a little tricky for some trucks. But let's see how this thing handles it. Dude, that's awesome. That's really good. The nice thing about this rig is the fact that high range in, you know, in the off-road gearbox is not too fast. You're not, you know, having to deal with something that's like super, you know, ridiculously fast that you're always going to have to, um, you're always going to have to modulate it. You, this, you could just like plant your foot and go flat out. Like, that's literally what the approach is to driving this thing. And I think it's actually kind of a nice breath of fresh air in terms of mods. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, I doubt it'll be able to do this, but I might be willing to do it in terms of... Nope. Nope. It doesn't like that. It went full on Michael Scott. Nope. Don't like that mode right there. This, I'm sure it'll do just fine. It does not really care for rocks. That's interesting. These tires are, are definitely very finicky in terms of rock traction. They're like, no, we don't like that. Like, they'll go up rocks, but these tires in particular are definitely way better in the mud, which makes sense because they are a mud-focused tire. Although... The mod creator put them into the off-road tires category and not necessarily the mud tires category, which I find interesting. I think this mod could use a little bit of cleanup in terms of the garage, you know, like in the garage customization choices and stuff like that, and just in the naming of everything. The actual mod itself is really nice looking. The model is nice looking. It's it's actually, like, the paint is very shiny. Everything looks really good. I just think, like I said, in terms of menu stuff, I think the mod could use a little bit of cleanup there. But in terms of, you know, criticisms, that's really the only criticism I have. And it's not even really a criticism. It's just more of a, uh, more of a suggestion. But, you know, you could, you could take it as a suggestion or criticism either way. But, ooh. Like, man, I gotta say... It is a good-looking vehicle, and it's interesting because it's one of those vehicles that we never even... We never got it in the U.S., so when I saw it, I was like, what the heck is that, and why does it say Ford on it? Because I don't recognize it, but you always forget that Ford acquires these other little brands all around the world, and there are things that fall under the Ford umbrella, so to speak, that you don't really even know exist sometimes until you, until you see them pop up, and you're like, I don't know what that is, but it's freaking cool. Let's see what we've got right here. I want to find another, like... I wonder if we could actually make it up that. It might be just a tad too steep. But, like, not by much. Ooh, back it up. Thank you! Alright, let's see what you can do. Don't roll over. Oh, no! If you don't point it the right direction, though, it gets mad. It gets really mad if you don't point it the right direction. Oh, no! Come on. Yo, come on. Dude, that was sick. That was awesome. I gotta give this thing props for that. That, that. that did really, really well. Like, most vehicles would not have been as happy to do that as this was. But the nice thing about this is that it didn't react in such a way that it felt super overpowered like you still had to try you know what i mean you still had to pick a line and you still had to deal with wheel spin and modulate the throttle and it definitely felt like you know a well-balanced experience i think now everybody's opinion of a well-balanced experience in this game is very different and so at the end of the day there's at the end of the day there's kind of a there's definitely going to be a bit of a back and forth on what you know one person feels is balanced versus what another person feels is balanced 
but I think this thing has definitely a good mod feel without feeling super overpowered or super unbalanced, and I think it actually bridges the gap very nicely. Now, let's see if there's a way I can make my way down this edge. Thank you. I appreciate it. Big oof, bud. Ah. I think I might actually go ahead and recover real quick because I want to change up the color. I like the I like the red, don't get me wrong, but I also really like the blue. The blue looks so good, and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the blue I think would be probably the color I would end up going with in real life if I was to actually like pick one of these up. Now, I gotta tell you, though, as well, the approach and departure angles are amazing. Like, it's not really gonna necessarily climb a crate, but it would get pretty dang close. Yeah, it doesn't have the grip for it. Like, the tire is actually contacting where it would need to contact. It just doesn't have the grip for it, which is understandable, and that's fair. You know, I don't think... I don't think it needs to necessarily be able to climb a crate to be a good rig or whatever, but I do think, I do think that when it comes down to it at the end of the day, even though this is a very different vehicle than what a lot of people might be used to seeing, I think it's definitely worth a try and it's definitely worth a spot in your mod collection. And I think that it, it, it could actually end up being a little bit of a fan favorite, especially with the people that know what it is, you know, right off the bat. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.